This morning, elite climber Emily Harrington is recovering from a death-defying accident. How are you feeling? I actually feel better than I thought I would. We spoke to the five-time U.S. sport climbing champion overnight, shortly after she left the California hospital. Yeah, I was in pain and I was scared, but I could feel my fingers and toes, so I kind of knew that that things were not super, super, super serious. <laughs> Early Sunday, Harrington was trying to scale Yosemite's famous El Capitan, 3,200 feet of grit and granite, when she suddenly fell. I must have hit a ledge or something. I definitely, like, hit the rope with my neck. It was just kind of a wild sideways fall, and I definitely lost consciousness for a period of time. The 33-year-old was climbing with Alex Honnold, who in 2017 shocked the world by scaling El Capitan in less than four hours without a rope or equipment. I feel like anybody could conceivably die on any given day. The incredible feat captured in the Oscar-winning documentary Free Solo. Part of the appeal is to be... He spoke with Savannah last year. What is the joy of a free solo climb? Honestly, a big part of the appeal is to be in this position that should be totally scary, should be crazy, but to feel super comfortable. He now tells NBC News Emily was attempting a very difficult route on El Cap and unfortunately slipped. Thankfully, her rope and equipment all caught her as expected, and she escaped more serious injuries. I'm glad that I was there to help. I trust him a lot, and I think that it was, it was wonderful to have him there. I think in climbing... We develop partnerships and trust with each other. Her boyfriend, fellow climber Adrian Ballinger, later describing the key role Honold played before Yosemite Search and Rescue rushed in, saying Honold was there calmly and maintaining spinal immobilization on the wall, getting things ready for an evac and telling stories and keeping her talking throughout. Now she's grateful to be alive. I had an accident, and accidents happen, but in the end... We always learn something from them, and I just hope that people can kind of take away a little bit of inspiration in that message in whatever they're struggling with in their lives.